What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play Minecraft with Brian and Greg. I'm Greg. I'm Brian. And we're still in my Vita world here, Brian. Yeah. We figured out the stairs at the very end there. And then w w I think we should... <laughs> I mean, this is what I do now. I like how you're like, we figured out the stairs, and then you run into the ceiling. Well, it's uh, well, that's part of that's yes. part of figuring it out. Uh -huh. All right, Brian, don't act like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anymore. You know but this is gonna be a boring let's play if I just keep making the stairs and digging out a hole. Sure. So I'm gonna come down here. Let me ask drop you off. We're gonna go explore the great unknown because I've never gone over outside of my world here. Let me ask you a question. Lay here. it on me, Chief. What is your plan for uh, when you build something in Minecraft? Right. Do you go okay? I'm gonna just get in there and go floor by floor and kind of make it up as I go, or do you kind of have a sketch in your head of like this is what the roof looks like, this is what the basement looks like? It's as I go. This it's one, as you go. this one for sure was just like I wanted to build this office building and mm -hmm. do stairs and do stuff that I don't. Um, a more technical thing. I've, as we've as we've progressed here, I'm sure ladies and gentlemen have watched. They know what's up with us. Yeah. We, you know that we we play every Wednesday. We play for fun. Uh, we're not experts. We don't claim to be. Yada yada yada. Don't yell at us in the comments. Um, we've gotten a lot better as we've gone. We've played a lot of Minecraft. I put, I, I got to imagine I'm starting to crack into the top five Minecraft players in IGN. You think so? Don't you? Oh, I mean, I the you're number number we've played. You're probably in the top three. I oh, think I, oh, I, you're okay. I, I thought you were on the opposite way. I think we've carried the proverbial uh, Minecraft torch. Oh, as they say. I see oh. what you did there. Because we said that Anthony Gaius fellow. Clearly, I didn't put as much in this either. Right, and also we were sort of very late to the party with this game. Yeah, no sort so of. But yeah, we, yeah, we definitely were. But by the time you and I were like, "Hey, you guys, you play ever play this game called Minecraft? It's great." People yeah. were like, "Yeah, I've been playing." I'm it over for it. Years. I hate it. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm done a with it. I'm, I'm just and I have a baby. Yeah. I Don't hate talk to everything. me. My baby sucks. Yeah, I know you're talking. About. <laughs> Jeez. What? Well, those are his. No, he never said that. Come on. I don't know when you can uh, actually say for certainty when a baby sucks, but there is a certain. If, it, mean, if it's got colic all the time, that baby sucks. Wow. Don't you, well, am I wrong? What's colic again? It's the thing babies get. What's that? What they call? I don't know. Lot? Yeah, probably. It's like Typhoon Mary. You wait. Uh, so uh, when a baby Typhoid, has a disease, it sucks. Yeah. Well, not like not like that. But I mean, this is like a cold. You know, you get these babies. They're sick all the time. You, yeah. I mean, when's the last time you went to a doctor just to go to a doctor? Um, that's a really good question. And then was the, when was the last time you went to a doctor before that? Oh, look, we got we got people. Time to go kill them. Uh, but the problem, yeah, wow, yeah, that's really you scary. I should probably get a checkup. You go to, <laughs> you go to the doctor. Great, you get your you get your crap taken care of. You're yep. a baby. You're in and out of the goddamn pediatrician every other day. It's true. It's constant. all this garbage. You talk to me as a kid. These kids are in the like just get the immune system figured out. But that's not a baby that sucks. That's a baby that is it, a like, baby. Okay, here's the thing. There's a difference between people that suck and uh, people that it sucks to be. Okay. Right? Okay. So if you're a okay. baby and you're constantly sick, that sucks for that baby. Sure. But if you're a baby that every time you see somebody, you throw up on them. Yeah. Like, that I don't know how much that sucks for that baby. Oh, all right, how about this? You throw, you're a baby, you see somebody, you throw up, and then you laugh because you know that what you did is horrible. Right, that's a bad but baby. But you're like, bleh, ha, 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 ha. That baby sucks. Like, that's the worst baby. But... Wow, you got a whole town of people here. Interesting. There's no babies in Minecraft. Have you noticed that? No, because we all just we all just get born here perfectly as stand. Yeah. Now remember last time we ever saw villagers, we murdered them. Yeah. And we took their town. Yep. I don't think I'm gonna do that here. I this am gonna take uh, all their books. This is different than uh, the the town we saw before. Like these guys actually made a town out of stone and uh, desert sands. As opposed to wood, which I feel like we've seen in the past. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's true. You got me there. But yeah, I think when uh, babies reach a certain age where they're not babies anymore, I think that's when you can start figuring out if they suck or not. Because any time before that, it kind of just it sucks to be them. Because they're just constantly sick, they're always vomiting, and they're always crying. And Get out of here, bro! He's mad at you. You're well, destroying you know, his house with a hatchet. You should have like thought of that before he just let everybody in. <laughs> There's a, there's there's a, there's a there's a there's a there's a lesson to be learned here, Brian. Don't let people in your homes. That's true. Don't let strangers in who just are clearly here to. Is he trying to fight me? No, he's just out of his mind. He can't fight you. His arms are permanently glued. I'm together. just saying. I hear I hear noises. I don't know what's happening. He's a monk. I think. He's I don't know what that means for anything. He's n he's non aggressive. So there's uh, what about the Shaolin monks? These are weird houses. They're almost like uh, this is how monks live, confession man. pews. They're probably not or thrilled. Booths. I'm just coming in. It's a yeah, confessional. Is what confessional. 
Y you ever go to that? You ever go to that? You confess your sins? Uh, I haven't been to one in a very, very long sure. time. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we talked about this before, but when you're a certain age and your parents force you to do stuff like that, you have to confess every single week. Really? Yeah. When I was, when I was, we had this thing called CCD. Oh yeah, I remember CCD. You had to, you had to do that. No, I went to Catholic school, but you okay. CCD kids came in and went through our desks and stuff, and we hated you. Oh, that's right. We had to go to your weird haunted see, schools. Oh, what? One of them is sleeping with the enemy. Did you see that? That skeleton <laughs> came out of that house. He was hanging out with that man. But yeah, I had to go to CCD, and it was just like going to this fake school where right. everybody was religious all day, and everybody wrote things on the desk like I'm Greg Miller Beyond. Beyond. And I would cross it out and write Brap Brap, and then you'd come to school the next day and be like, Oh man. What a I great alternate universe that would be where that had actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, but every every week they would be like, you know, confess your sins, and I'd be like, I'm like, I'm 12, dude. I don't have. Uh, I thought I, you know, I, uh, I stole would, a gumball. Yeah, like, but one one week I would do that, and then it'd be then I got. I, I mean, it worked on me. I got to the point where uh, it was a weird cult meeting going on back there. But I, I would get to the point where I would be like, I don't even want to do any sins this week because I have to go see this guy on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I see. I see what you did. So they'd be like, "What's so wait? What? Did yeah, you I was gonna say. And I'd be like, I didn't. I don't have any new sins this week. And he'd be like, "Come on." I'm like, I was kind of mean to my brother. Like my brother got uh, a, 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 an action figure of Panthro from Thundercats. And I got Lionel. I wanted both, but we each got one. And he'd be like, oh, well, you shouldn't covet your brother's panthro or whatever, yeah, like, yeah. which isn't even a, a thing. That's not even in the That's I think I thought that was one of the Ten Commandments. Don't Thou shalt not covet thy, pan thy, their thy brother's, brother's panthro. Yeah. Um, but I, it's like I would just make up sins. And then I it, it, then I was just like, wait a minute. If I can go in here and make things up, then that means other people can co go in here and make up the fact that they didn't do sins. So you could basically just hide your sins. I also didn't really understand that. Like personally, I've seen like I I, I went to get my uh, marriage license recently. Right. And they uh, they they did a weird thing. I went to City Hall and I filled out all the paperwork and they asked to see my passport and the same thing with my fiance. We filled everything out, and then they handed us uh, a piece of paper and I signed it. And the lady goes, uh, please raise your right hand. And I'm like, really? Okay. So I put my hand up in the air, and she goes, uh, can you just say that uh, you, you you promise all that information is true? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but this doesn't mean anything. Like this is a this is an adult pinky swear. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. that we are legally doing. This is a yeah, legally exactly. abiding adult pinky swear that I'm doing in a in a in basically a court of law, to just being like I put my hand up. Like for a high five. There's no power there. Like it doesn't mean anything. It's just like she was just like she leaves for the day and she's like a bunch of grown people came into my office today, raised their hands in the air and told things that they promised were true. And you know what? I believed most of them. <laughs> yeah. Like if I came home and I was like, Greg, did you eat all of these chicken wings? And you're like, no. And I'm like, prove it. And you put your hand in the air and you're like, I didn't eat all the chicken wings. I'd have to be like, oh, you're right. That magical power totally worked right You'd there. You'd believe it, though. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You could have eaten all the chicken wings and then you put your hand in the air. And then, then what? You lie and I go, he put his hand up. And a judge is like, y you put your hand up. Do you know what that means? Perjury. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. Perjury. Now you have to go to jail. And you're in jail and someone's like, what did you do? You're like, oh, I put my hand up and told something that wasn't entirely true. And, and they're like, like okay. Oh. You're gonna get your new roommate is a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I went right to max security for that, huh? <laughs> I guess so, that was an interesting uh, chasm back there. Yeah, what is this uh, fire? <laughs> Just random street fire Let's happening see, got here. Some, uh, got some lava going on here. See, this is the one downside. Remember, PlayStation Four doesn't do this anymore. Yep. Vita yep. and PS3 still do it. So, so I, this is I am never, I'll never stop being amazed at how wonderful this game is in just it, its infinite discovery. Yeah, just walking around and being like, "Here's a fire pit and some grass is on fire." What's really cool is that, I guess this fire pit might work too. But you know how we, I figured out how to in one of her la late last PS4 ones, I was talking about obsidian. Yeah, this is perfect for obsidian. I just got to get the moving water to the still lava. So how do you do that? Uh, I well, I think I could dig away that way and do it and have it come in a little bit on top of it. Oh. And there's another one close to home too. So we're, I we're remember the problem was we always tried to make the lava move into the water. Right, right, and right. You right, got to right. go. You gotta go the other way around. You knock that. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of coal down there. Cold down there. This is right. This is how they get you. You're like, I'm trying to get home with all my supplies. I like your helmet. Thank you. It's all I could afford at this moment. So my this is interesting. I, I mean, we've we've waited what feels like decades to get Minecraft on Vita. Yeah. Now we have it. What's next? To look forward to. On the Vita? 
Uh, no, it's just in our lives. Oh, I mean, for me, it's Freedom Wars. Well, you're getting married, so that'll be there. Actually, I think Freedom Wars comes out before you get married. So that <laughs> you should be looking forward to Freedom Wars next. <laughs> then marriage. Then your honeymoon. I'm just glad we finally have Vita Minecraft because it's, oh, it's so good. It doesn't. It there was a while where it felt like it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. Well, there was some scary. We had yep. some scary days there when Microsoft bought the guys. We're like, oh no, what does this mean? Are they gonna be the infinite bad guys and just take it away? So. Uh, and they said we're benevolent gods. Here you go. Do you think you're gonna put like a couple thousand hours into this game now? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those. Like, I don't know. It's it seems like. What kills me? What kills games for me mm -hmm. is when I go away. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like I was totally into Destiny, and then I had to go away for a weekend to do some, or go yep. away for a trip, or whatever. Yep. And when I came back, everybody was so f so far ahead of me. It was just like, eh, this isn't the same anymore. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm thi I'm hoping that if I'm just only into Minecraft on Vita, and it's never away from me, then my worlds will continue to get amazing. Because even Minecraft, it's like, well, I'm working on this, and then I get distracted by another game. I come back to that same world, and it's like, well, what exactly was I doing? I'm down here. Eh. Yeah, I go either way on this. I think it's it's the perfect portable game. It's the ultimate yeah. time waster. Yeah, totally. it's, uh, you and I are both on a lot of very mundane, long flights very often, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and this is this is the way to go. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of Minecraft on the PlayStation Vita? This, of course, is the my PlayStation Vita save running on my PlayStation Three. Let us know in the comments. Then make sure you share this video with your friends and keep coming back to watch Brian and I play Minecraft. We're trying to get back on schedule each and every Wednesday, 11 a.m., both on IGN.com and YouTube.com/slash/MinecraftIGN. That's right. If you like the show, let us know. And to prove that you're telling the truth, raise your right hand. Until next Otherwise, time. Otherwise, you're going to jail. We'll see you in jail. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.